Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in today. I'm going to be sharing with you 10 daily healthy habits that you can implement in your life and I promise you, you won't regret it. Thank you so much, let's get started. Number one, reading. I just recently got into reading about two years ago and now I just devour books. I'm always looking for something to read and I love audiobooks. Hoopla is a great free app if you have a library card in the Stanislaus County and you get I think five free audiobooks per month. So yeah, long live the bookworms. Number two is journaling. I have different journals for different things. I have a bookless journal, a small journal that I keep in my purse, and then a larger journal that I use at home. And journaling is a great thing to do to kind of decompress, process your thoughts and emotions, and then also just jot down notes. I'm definitely someone who prefers handwritten things over digital, handwritten cards. And so yeah, I'm always journaling and writing things down. And again, it's just a great daily habit. Number three, drink water. I know this is so overstated. You're probably like, oh my gosh, I know I hear this on every commercial. But seriously, it's so good for you and it makes you physically feel so much better. And yeah, I have a reusable water bottle that I just refill up and I use every day. And water is amazing. Drink more water. Number four, tidy up your house. I don't know about you, but if I'm in a cluttered space, it just makes me feel physically more anxious and overwhelmed. But when I'm chilling, it's because my house is like in order. And it doesn't mean you gotta go all Marie Kondo, crazy, you know what I mean? And like everything's perfect. But just simple things like putting dishes in the sink, picking up after yourself, picking up dirty socks, putting your shoes away, just little things. I know I live in a tiny house and there's not like a ton to clean up, but stuff piles up quickly. So clean up your space, it'll help you feel so much better. Number five is do one thing for someone else per day. I know that this is part of my six month uh, challenge I'm doing, but honestly, I don't think I wanna stop even after that because it's just something amazing about being intentional to bless someone else. And it doesn't have to be anything big. It can just be showing kindness in simple ways, like looking somebody in the eyes or giving someone a compliment or sending someone a quick text saying, hey, I'm thinking about you. It could take like a minute, but you know, just taking that extra step to be intentional, to be kind to someone else, we could all use a little bit more kindness in our life. Number six is have a to-do list. I am 100% percent <laughs> an advocate for to-do lists. I have a to-do list at work, at home. I use an app called Todoist and um, it's amazing because it allows you to have reoccurring things. So I literally put everything on there. I put flossing, read the Bible, uh, do 50 sit-ups, go for a run, or else I will forget because I get distracted easily. Squirrel! So yeah, have a to-do list. And honestly, it also gives me a sense of accomplishment because if I finished everything on my to-do list, I go to bed like, man, I was a baller today. I got so much done. And you just feel good. So have a to-do list. It's great. Number seven is lay out your clothes the night before. I don't do this every day, but I'm trying to do it more because for me, if I spend like two minutes Put, picking out my clothes and putting them by my bed in the morning when I wake up It's like an extra like oh, I can't wait to get up and put on those clothes because it's just fun to get ready But otherwise I snooze my alarm too much. I'm working on that Number eight is put your phone away before bed I'm trying to do this more and more because I don't want my screen to be the last thing I see before bed There's just something even about like the blue light rays and stuff that it's just not good and it kind of stimulates you before you go to bed and it doesn't really calm you so instead I put my phone away my alarms already set default and I read a book or I'll just lay there and stare at the ceiling <laughs> until I'm ready for bed just to kind of get your brain to settle down a little bit number nine is to be present our culture is so fast-paced and I think sometimes we just need to just chill, you know? We can't change the past, the future isn't here yet. 
just enjoy the present moment and you don't need to like meditate or do something but just like and just focus on what's around you and just be peaceful it's actually really fun number 10 is to practice gratitude and thankfulness this can be something that is an external or and or an internal thing so what I like to do is about once a week there's no rules but I like to just jot down some specific things that I'm thankful for and I think the key is to be specific because often when we think about practicing thankfulness we are often very general about it as in we say things like or we write down things like I'm thankful for my family for my car for food on the table for my job but if you actually like give it just a little bit deeper of a thought and write down specifics, think about, meditate on specifics, it really kind of puts you into a new perspective. For example, instead of saying, I'm so thankful to have my mom and my dad in my life, I would say or write down something like, I'm thankful that today my dad wrote on my car, I love you, love daddy. That was just so sweet and it made me feel so loved and it was just a cute thing to see when I got to my car this morning. So I'll write something like that down. And that just kind of being more specific, it's, it makes you a little bit more intentional with it. And I think it's really good just for our mental, emotional health, because there's always something to be thankful for. Maybe you already do all of these 10 things, or maybe not. Either way, I hope you got something from it. And let me know in the comments down below if there are some things that you do every day that you feel are healthy habits. Um, and let's just do some healthy daily habits together, because I'm always learning. I'm always looking for new things to challenge myself with and implement in my life. And yeah, we're always growing, we're always learning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.